Sunday. I do. He, he gutted it out. Last, he played corner, obviously, all last week. Kind of gutted it out a little bit on that heel. What is that showing you about him that he's kind of rallying and ready to do that for oh, you guys? Yeah. I think um, it matters to him. Football matters to him. His teammates matter to him. Winning matters to him. He knows what better football team he's out there playing. So he does everything all week to get himself in position to play. So he'll he'll go play and play well. Is Trevor the same this Friday? Did he do yes. enough where you think yeah. he's going to go? I feel good about him. Juju, um, you know, his numbers are even bigger than Antonio's so far this year. Just the step that he's taken in year two, and how much do you think that's because teams are so focused on stopping Antonio? Nah, he's a good player. You know, I think teams are focused on stopping Antonio Brown, and rightfully so. I mean, he's one of the best players in the league. But I think Juju's, you know, carved out his role on the football team year two and his progression. Uh, he's doing a really good job. You mentioned T.J. Watt a little bit earlier in the week, but when he had the kind of game he did in the opener, how much emphasis has there been put on him as you guys have prepared? A uh, huge emphasis. I mean, because uh, he could do it again. Uh, we got to make sure that doesn't happen. You know, he's uh, he's a really good football player. He plays hard. Um, obviously, can rush. You know, plays a run well. Um, they even ask him to drop from time to time. So uh, he's an all-around football player. So no, there's no question. We got to know where number 90 is. Extra attention. He, he wants attention. I know you guys already made a couple of moves, obviously, but with the deadline Tuesday, is that something in the back of your mind? Are you and John talking about possible deals that could be happening? Always. John's always searching, looking, um, trying to improve the football team. Um, you know, Tuesday will show itself as we get closer. So uh, we'll see what, what happens. Do you think you can get any more out of Rashad? Yeah, we hope so. You know, he'll he'll have packages again where he's out there. Um, you know, we got to throw it at him and let him go make plays. The one ball we threw to him last week, he caught it, turned up the field. Uh, so again, that that's the start. How much does it help with him having him played for an AFC North team already, being familiar with the division? I think it helps. You know, I think um, you know the the weather's starting to turn now, so I think he's been through that part of it. Um, you know, he knows the defensive backs that he's facing. So I think from that standpoint, it helps. But I think him getting more comfortable, you know, with what we do and how we're doing is what's going to help him the most. How's Joe Hayden look for them? Good. You know, he looks healthy. He's playing good. You know, he's done a good job. I think he's there, the guy that they turn to when they want to, you know, shut people down. Uh, I think Artie Burns is a fine player too, but I think Joe is the catalyst back there right now. He'd be on um, Jarvis a bunch? I don't know if they're going to just let him travel that way. You know, we'll wait to see. Um, I think they're going to play their sides, you know, like they did last time. Um, the NFL fired any official who missed that false start against the Chargers. And there's all this talk about the Mayfield hit. Would you like to see a system like the NBA where the NFL is more publicly holds the officials accountable for mistakes? You know, I, I hate to see anybody lose their job, you know, over uh, things like that. I just... To me, there's got to be a way to have everybody be more accountable, um, you know, so that we know exactly, so we can make it right. You know, I, I said it the other day, I just think, um, you know, if there was an opportunity to review all of those things, you know, that um, that are real obvious, not, not borderline, I think uh, maybe we can make a lot of it right. Um, but, you know, I don't. I don't know exactly how to do that, hadn't thought about it, hadn't thought through it that way, but I'm sure there's a way if we all put our heads together to figure it out. Maybe in the off season, that the league collectively with the coaches and GMs around the league, that you guys can kind of put your heads together and figure a system out like I that. Hope just so. because, sports betting now becoming a thing. And right. I just think it's too important. You know, I think it's too important to teams, organizations, players, coaches, everybody. You know, um, obviously officials now too. You know, where you get it right. You know, so I think um, I'm sure if we can all get together, I'm sure we can all figure out a way. Reviews are might be more um, stoppage. Inter stoppage. Oh yeah. No, I, I don't. I don't disagree. But what's more important? You know, is it the time and length, or is it getting it right and making a game where it's? You know, if there is fans that are upset, you know, there's there's everybody is upset. You know, let's let's see if we can get it right. That's the way I feel about it. Yeah, I see the interruptions want to bother you if no. if things are more thorough. No. 
guys do, though, to cut down on your penalties, which are really hurting this season? Well, obviously, fundamentally, we have to do some things better. Um, and I told our team that there's some things that we do have to iron out, you know, but there's also some things that, um, you know, that were, you know, again, unfairly um, uh, flagged, per se. And uh, we have to work through those the best we can. And um, that's the difficult part, you know, when you have to stand there in front of the team and have them see that this isn't what it is. Uh, that's hard. You know, they get the holdings. They get um, the things that they're doing that we are harping on week in and week out. It's the calls that they get a chance to see that are very questionable. You know, that makes it tough. We're on the subject, uh, since we last talked about the Mayfield hit, um, Dirk Cutter said that... Um, that disappointed me. I did see that. Funny and I don't, yeah. No. No. To me, the guy shouldn't hit our player in the head, first of all. You know, and uh, obviously our guy got up and um, he tossed the ball to the official. And, uh, got, you know, obviously the guy was close by. But, I mean, the bottom line is our guy shouldn't be getting hit in the head. I don't, I don't care about some tunning foul. I mean, we're talking about our quarterback taking a shot in the head and sliding. I think that's wrong, totally wrong. You had never heard anything about one of those flags being no. intentionally wrong? No. Take the, the fumble away and overtime away, but what you've seen from Jabril in the return game these last couple of weeks, do you feel get the sense that he's turning the corner a little bit in that aspect, that <clears throat> he's getting a, a little better feel? I think the unit has started to get better. You know, I think he's a, a huge part of it because he's returning the ball. But in order for him to return the ball that way, there's got to be some blocking. You know, there's got to be guys uh, on people. And um, I think we've done that part better. And I think he's fitting the ball and hitting it and being very aggressive with the football. So I think the unit uh, as a group is starting to turn the corner. We need to continue to get better. I understand. When you say disappointing about the cutter, cutter comments, you're disappointed that that was even brought up or, or what? No, it's just that, I mean, we're talking about a second flag. I mean, the biggest thing that happened was the quarterback get hit in the head, you know? I mean, unless the taunting, is the, does that really matter? I mean, really? I mean, yeah, that, that to me made no sense. Do you, do you um, your, some of your players, including Miles Garrett last week, you know, kind of came out pretty strongly about the officiating and mm -hmm. he said he didn't care if he got fined or anything like that. I know you're very careful about it. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about your players kind of complaining about I that? I think we handle that in, inside, you know, with us. I mean, I just think we can't make our focus about that. You know, we don't get to determine that. So we can only control what we can, which is playing well and doing our jobs um, to the best of our ability. We got to let other people handle that because we don't get a chance to. I mean, we're not going to reverse calls. We don't get all the back calls back and they change the score. It doesn't work that way, you know. Um, I think throughout the league, people are trying to do the best they can of, of alerting everybody what's going on. And so uh, let's, let's voice our frustrations behind closed doors, deal with it, uh, but let's move on because the key to any victory for us is going to be how we play. So it won't be about, hopefully not about the flags all the time. Some of your fans are uh, saying there's a conspiracy theory out to shaft the Browns. And do you feel like the call's even out or do you think you guys are getting Short end of them. I mean, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to say that we're getting shafted or anything like that. I don't want to feel that way. I mean, this is a National Football League, and obviously, I think everybody's trying to do the job, do their jobs the best day ability. I know we've we've had some very questionable calls uh, that haven't gone our way. Um, I don't think I want to even get involved that way, and I don't think our players do. And we appreciate that our fans see the things that we see, but at the same time. We got to find a way to win those games, you know, because that's just what we do. You know, we're out there to play them. We've been in some very close games. We've been in four overtime games, you know, out of, out of seven games. That's a lot. We've had some chances uh, to have a better record than we do. So our focus is truly going to be on how do we finish games and how do we continue to get better. Your players this week feels like they really appreciate the magnitude of this game. Um, what do you think, like what kind of vibe are you getting from them in practice and during the week as far as their focus? And I think back? they're ready to play. I think they understand what's at stake. I mean, uh, you guys put it out there pretty clearly. You know, we haven't won on the road. We haven't won in Pittsburgh. I mean, they hear it all. Uh, there's no question. I mean, we not understand that we're in this race. You know, you go win this game, you're way in this race. You know, so it's a huge game. It's a tremendous opportunity for us. 
and it's a huge stage. So let's go, let's go conquer this. Let's go to Pittsburgh and play the best football game we've played all year and go win the game.